In today's video, we're taking over Norwich for 10 seasons as we try and create a dynasty. I feel like so far with all the takeovers we've done, by the way, there should be a playlist. If you click the I button in the top right, you can catch up with all the 10 season takeover videos we've done. But yeah, we've only done big clubs, which involves us winning trophies pretty early on, or we gave ourselves endless money and still won a lot of trophies. So today's 10 season takeover with Norwich is going to be completely different. We're going to have less money. It's going to be a grind to even even get one trophy and that's what makes this one probably the most exciting 10 seasons takeover yet i can't wait to get into it and i also feel like norwich are the perfect club to do so they're 19th in the premier league they were about to sign frank lampard but that fell through and they signed dean smith so new coach new beginnings for them objective win as much as we can in 10 seasons i'm ready for this let's go we're also going to be spicing things up with the rules of today's 10 season takeover three academy players that means the youth academy will be put to use we will need three of them in the starting 11 at all times we're gonna do that from season three yup that is a thing and that's gonna make things extremely interesting from season three they're gonna have to be three academy players in the starting 11 from then until the end that's going to be fun to figure out. Apart from that, it's the usual 10 seasons to glory, three transfers per season. we got to sim every single game. And the end goal is to create a dynasty and win as much as we can. And don't forget, we're keeping track of our top goal scorer and top assister. And of course, the most important thing we're tracking is how many trophies we can win. You know what? Comment down below right here, right now. How many Premier Leagues do you guys think we're going to win over the course of the next 10 seasons? I'm excited to know. If you guys are excited for another Tuesday 10 season takeover video and want to see one next week as well, you know what to do. Destroy that like button. 8,000 likes. And I'll get you another takeover next week. And we'll keep spicing things up with different tasks and challenges to make it even more interesting. So yeah, drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here as we are very close to 350,000 subscribers. Sub to the channel to stay up to date with everything. Let's begin with season one. Season one begins and this is the Norwich team we're working. I think with the team we've got, I want to use a 4-3-3. I just feel like it works for the players we've got. And straight away, I'm looking at the overalls and I'm kind of worried. I am pretty worried because I don't think this team can survive the Premier League. I'm genuinely scared. We don't have a single player above the overall of 80, which is scary. But we do have a few good talents like Max Adams, Kabak, who is on loan. Brandon Williams, who's on loan too. Chorlees is big. Rashika is big. Billy Gilmer, who is on loan, is big. So there are a few decent players, few players we need to get rid of too. This squad isn't all that exciting, but we got to make do with it. 17 million to spend. It's going to be interesting to figure out what needs to be done with that. Youth Academy is going to play a big part too. We've already got a sentiment in Jordan Davison. Remember from season three, we need to start using these players week in, week out. So what I'm going to do is, he, since this kid is very good, we're going to promote him to the senior team and straight away loan him out. Season three begins, we need him in the starting 11 and the homegrown player is going to help us with that massively. So we will, of course, loan him out. The good thing is we've got a fairly decent scout do we do we spend more money on a scout we could spend 3.4 million on a scout you know what since three of the players in our starting 11 are gonna have to be academy players i think it's worth spending the money on a scout i want them to be english as well so we'll send a scout to english for like nine months and we'll be hopefully getting the two other players we need through this really fast. So that's the play. Also, I think I'm going to do a different approach for season one. Instead of signing new players into the team, I kind of want to just sign the players who are on loan here. If we can just do even that, I think it's brilliant. So Brandon Williams, if we can approach Dubai and settle him right now, that's a 20-year-old who's 74 that we've got in the starting 11. That'll be key. Unfortunately, I'm trying to sign Ozan Kabak permanently, but it looks like that'll be impossible because we simply can't afford 13 and a half million right now. Plus, I'm trying to sign Brandon Williams permanently, Billy Gilmore as well. We'll see if we can generate cash to sign Kabak permanently. I'm saying in the first season, if we can just get the players that are on loan here on a permanent deal, half the job's done, I feel. As you guys can see, we've managed to sign two of the loanies, Billy Gilmore on a permanent deal. He's on the thumbnail and I think he's going to be huge for us over the course of this video. We're going to sign Brandon Williams as well. So two signings permanently complete. By the way, for Billy Gilmore, we only paid like 640000 We did a swap deal with one of the backup left backs of the club. I forgot what his name even was. But yeah, I think that was a smart, smart 
transfer to pull off. We're left with about 8 million. If we adjust it, we'll have maybe about 13. We need a bit more cash by selling a few players here and there. And I reckon we'll be able to, of course, sign Ozan Kabak too. And just the confirmation, those signings complete. Brandon Williams is here. Of course, we also signed Billy Gilmore. That was a pretty good deal. We just used one of our backup fullbacks there. And of course, we're trying to loan out Davison from the academy too. So that's happening. Let's just see how things go. We just need to generate enough cash somehow to afford Ozan Kabak. And I think we've had a good window. I think we found the second academy player we need to get involved in the setup. Harrison Stevens, 78 to 94 potential. He's already worth 1.7 million. Yep, this is the kid. He's only 15, so it's going to take us a while to promote him. But yeah, that's player number two. The first one is Davison, who's already, I think, loaned out. Perfect, guys. Already getting that five-star, five-star scout is proven to be vital. And he's in a different position to, of course, Davison. That's perfect. So let's sign him up. Okay, Harrison Stevens is a center forward. Okay, I prefer him to be like a winger, I guess. He'll just be much better as a winger, I feel. Honestly, maybe like a right winger could be nice for him. I think that'll work a lot better for him because his shooting stats are just horrendous, but his dribbling is really good. Plus, this will get his work rate up too. I reckon with about 15 million, we might just be able to sign Ozan Kabak on a permanent deal. We're done with the academy signings. We've signed Billy Gilmore and Brandon Williams on a permanent deal. By the way, have we put a development plan on him? Yes, we have. That's perfect. Let's now try and sign Ozan Kabak on a permanent deal. If we can get him too, I think that'll be just perfect. But look at that valuation. I'm going to start with 10 million for Kabak. Now, we're going to have to really grind out this transfer. I don't know if we can pull it off. Round two of trying to sign Ozan Kabak. This time, we're going to go in with a 12 million offer and see what they say. They want 18.8. We can afford this, but... Let's bring it down as much as we can. 15 million is what I'm countering. And let's see what they say. They want 18.9 plus that sell-on clause as well. Let's go down to 16.5. I know we can get them to accept something like this. Now they're asking for 19. You know what? I'm accepting it because I know this is a glitch where with sell-on clauses, the opposing clubs just keep asking for more and more money if you don't close the deal quickly. So that's exactly what we've done. We're delegating the offer for Ozan Kabak and let's get that signing sorted. There you go, the signing of Ozan Kabak is complete and with that, Kabak, Brandon Williams and Billy Gilmore, we've signed them all on a permanent deal. That's our transfers done for season one. I told you, it's gonna be a real grind bringing in new players as well. Season one might be a write-off. We could even get relegated. We'll have to see how we perform. All right, guys, that's going to be our squad for the rest of the season. Cholese is decent. Sargent is doing okay. We've got an okay-ish team, guys. We've got an okay-ish team. Is it good enough to survive the Premier League? I don't know. We'll need incredible luck. By the way, I have loaned out a massive amount of players. So we're low on squad depth. But since we're only playing in the Premier League, I reckon it's fine. Let's just see how this season goes. All right, guys, season one has come to an end and a lot has happened over the course of the season not just the Premier League wrapped up but we also found the three academy players we're going to be using in the starting 11 from season three so that's going to be fun I'll, I'll go through them soon but for now Premier League table we avoided the drop pretty comfortably by 12 points I'll take that we finished 15th in the league in the first season which I think is great avoiding relegation the first season I feel is is an accomplishment in itself so that's brilliant 42 points is where we finish at who won the league Manchester City and I do remember in the FA Cup we didn't do all that bad we actually managed to get to the round five which is the round of 16 so pretty okay season I'd say in other news guys Aiden Bray is one of the academy prospects I've promoted him to in other news guys Aiden Bray is one of the academy prospects who I have promoted to the first team and he is gonna be in charge of one of those three spots for the academy players so that's brilliant he's got great potential He's 17. We're probably going to loan him out soon because we only need to start them from season three. Apart from that, we've got another couple of players. You guys know about Jordan Davison already going up by a couple of ratings. Brilliant to see. And the final guy is Harrison Stevens, right winger, 68 rated already. So those are the three academy players we've got sorted. That's brilliant. Can't wait to see what kind of overalls they're rocking in season three. Oh, Timu Puki, stop it. What a season from him. 22 goals this season in the Prem. 25 in total. Fair play, Timu Puki. Fair freaking play. 
Rashika did well. Pookie was our top assister too. What a season from him. And that was the stats for season one. Pookie taking home top scorer and top assister. Brilliant to see. Time to head into season two where we're going to try and improve the team and try and take it one step further. Season 2 begins and our team looks a lot better. Having Cholise be 80 rated and Rashika 81, I feel is massive. Absolutely. Billy Gilmore is glowing ever so slowly, but he is. Norman is 78. Sergeant is now going to be our number 9 for the team. Because I feel like it's time he gets that promotion because he's very close to Pookie's overall. Also, at the back, Kabak being 80, I told you it was worth signing him. Loving the look of the team. I think for Season 2, it's clear where we need to invest every bit of cash we've got. Because we've covered the academy stuff. All those players are out on loan or we're in the process of loaning players like Bray out. Because only next season we need to start fitting them in the starting 11. I think this season we focus on just getting a better keeper. Spending all our cash on a keeper because those keepers are the most important in simulation. So that's what we're going to work towards in season 2. 26 million to do that. Let's get on it. We've made our first signing from another club in season two and it's Diogo Costa, the Portuguese goalkeeper. I think it's a great signing because 76 rated keeper, 22 years old. He's going to be the keeper for the rest of the save. Hopefully he can grow in his overall really quickly. So a large chunk of our budget has been spent on him. But since I have been selling a fair few players and all that, we still have 15 million. I reckon we could maybe sneak in a centre-back signing too and sort out our defence. We've just made, I think, a top class signing. We literally had to use every bit of cash we had for this, but we pulled it off. Hanko has been signed. I think it's a top class signing, guys. 22.1 million plus Ben Gibson in a swap deal. A 77 rated centre-back. Yo, we've really improved our backline this season, so... We should comfortably survive the Premier League, I feel. All right, guys, basically done with all our transfer business for season two. We've made a couple of signings. We've not got cash left. So this is the squad we've got until the end of season two. Again, we're nowhere near where we can win trophies. But I reckon with the team we've got, we should be able to survive the Premier League again. That's probably my goal again for this season. Just seeing these players grow. Plus, we've loaned out those three academy players that we've got. We need them to keep growing because next season onwards, they're going to be a part of our setup. So there is that. That's our team right now. I'm liking the look of it. We've done a good job with Norwich so far. Let's sim until the end of season two and see where we're at. Okay, I genuinely don't believe this, but in season two, we've got our chance to win our first trophy and these kind of opportunities are not going to come around. How have we managed to get ourselves to a Carabao Cup final? Okay, we had a relatively easy draw, but we we knocked out the likes of West Ham. Yeah, we, we had a relatively easy draw. That explains it. But in the final, we're up against Spurs, a club who struggles to win trophies. And this could be one of the fair few trophies or one of the only trophies we win in the first four or five seasons. Can we make it count? I'm excited for this final. How special would this season be if we actually pull this off? Like, honestly, if we somehow pull this off, it would be genuinely incredible. We're up against Spurs. The chances of winning are very slim. But if we do this, it'll be insane. Bruh. Nah, we lost. Ah, oh, Spurs win. To be honest, first experience of a cup final, it'll it, it'll teach us a lot. I think so far we've been very successful at Norwich. Okay, guys, this is crazy. We're in an FA Cup final to win season two with Norwich? This is genuinely mad. We knocked out the likes of Wolves on penalties. Liverpool... What's happening? Yo, we got to win something this season if we're this good. Are we actually going to end up winning our first trophy in season two? Nah, I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it. And it's actually happened. We've won the FA Cup in season two with Norwich. Oh boy, trophies are going to be rare in this save. And this is one we'll cherish. The FA Cup. We beat Everton in the final. Billy Gilmore scoring the goal. Oh boy, this has been a special season. Yo, this is crazy. How on earth have we managed to finish eighth in the Premier League? I think Cholise and Rashika being so high rated did the job for us. Plus Norman in that centre midfield role. Plus the new keeper, the defence. Incredible. We finish eighth. We're going to be in the Europa League next season, courtesy of winning the FA Cup. So that's going to be exciting. What a season this has been. So successful. We might end up winning a lot of trophies with Norwich at this rate. Love to see it. Stats-wise, our oh, Rashika is here. He has arrived. What a season for him. 24 goals from Rashika. Cantwell did really well with 19 goals to Sargent with 15. Lise Milou with good stats. Norman with 14 assists. Might end up being our top assister. Great stat all round. Stats wise, we've got a new top scorer in Rashika with 34 goals so far in these couple of seasons. Brilliant. 
and also a new assistant, Norman, out of nowhere, our CDM, is our top assistant with 15 total assists. Not bad at all. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect showing you guys our trophy cabinet for the first four or five seasons, but here we are with an FA Cup in the bag. Brilliant. Season 3 begins and as I said from the third season we need three youth academy players in our starting 11. Stevens is one of them, 71 rated, Davison is one of them and Bray is one of them. Now the thing with simulation is even though we've got them in the starting 11 they're probably not going to get game time unless they get high rated enough so we're going to keep them in the starting 11. We're going to keep them a part of our setup but there's no guarantee they'll be playing week in week out but We've put them in the 11 and that's the objective. And in the last few seasons, we need to have them as a key player of the setup. But anyways, Bray is probably the weakest of them all because he's 67 rated. Davison, I think, is already going to get a lot of game time this season. I can feel it. He's got great stats all round. Stevens as well. I think Rashika will end up playing more than him. But regardless, we've done our job. Those are three academy players we're going to be focusing on. The rest of the team is looking so good right now. We've got backup options as well on the bench. I'm liking that, but I'm feeling... This season, it's time to bring in a new striker. I like Sergeant, but I think we could do better. We really can do better. So that's the aim I think I've got. Getting a better striker this season. How much money do we have? That's the real question. 37 million. I think we can get a decent striker in that. Let's see. That's probably the aim for season three. By the way, guys, it's also time to sell Timu Puki. I'm going to cash in on him. Take the 1.5 million. He's been a good servant. First season, he was our top scorer. But now I think it's time to sell him. Okay, I'm looking at a big acquisition for that striker position. English, Dami Abraham is the man for the job. He's going to be expensive, but I've been selling a fair few players I just don't need. And I reckon we might just have enough cash to make this happen. Dami Abraham alongside the front line we've got, I think is just perfect. I think he fits our team really well. And I think he's a striker who will give us good six, seven seasons, which I guess is what we need season three onwards. So let's try and make this happen. Starting off with about 39 million is my first offer. We might just have the cash to make this happen. I think we do, but it's going to take away all the money for this season. So I'm going to counter with 45 million. They're going to counter with 58. Oh boy, is this going to be a long drawn out negotiation battle. I'm going to counter with 50 million. 52. I'll accept it. We'll take it. Yep. We just need to get the contract sorted now. And it's done, guys. We've just signed Dami Abraham for 52.2 million. It's incredible how in our third season itself we've been signing like this i think it's because we're in the europa league we won an fa cup and the team just keeps getting better more and more trophies on the lookout i guess i think this is a top class signing in other news we've got the community shield final and we got to use the academy players in the starting 11 for this one this is gonna be a problem a chance to win our second trophy let's see what happens against liverpool we won on penalties i cannot believe this trophy number two mad this is actually mad with the academy players starting as well although i think stevens got subbed off davison scored as well hey yo this is amazing we've just won the community shield i think with tammy abraham i'm done with transfers we just yeah we just don't have the money to do anything else we're just gonna smash through this season and see where we'll what we'll achieve because yeah i think we're gonna have an exciting season ahead of us because you look at the overalls on this team it's pretty good we've already won a trophy this season let's see where we'll be at the end of this season could we end up winning the Europa League? We'll see. Okay, season three, a bit on the lower side compared to the previous season, but still ninth in the Premier League, plus that community shield we won. We didn't get into any cup competition, but for the fact that we competed in the Europa League and this... Not too bad finishing ninth in the Premier League. What happened in the Europa League though? That is the real question. Everton and Real sauce that in the final, so we didn't end up winning it. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we got knocked out in the round of 16 to eventual finalist Everton. So fair enough. No Europa League for us next season, but we got a taste of, you know, European football. We need to get there soon. Stats-wise, Rashika, 20 goals. He is killing it for us, boys. Cholis did well this season with 18. Dami Abraham, what a signing. 15 from him. Cantwell with 7, Davison, big season up to an 80 overall, Billy Gilmore with 8 assists as well, that's good. What about the other youngsters? How did they perform? I am sure Stevens played a fair few games up to a 73 overall, that's great for him. Also, Bray went up by 3 ratings, that's decent, that's decent up to a 70 overall, not too bad. Stats wise, Rashika keeps hold of the top scorer charts and Norman keeps hold of the top assister charts. I genuinely feel it's a bit mad that we've added two trophies in total in three seasons with Norwich, like, that's mad. And yeah, we just keep going. 
Season four begins, and I'm looking. Season four begins, and I'm looking at this team and the overalls we've got. We need to be in the Champions League. Like I know we're Norwich, but look at the ratings and everyone. Even the academy player Davison's 80. Yeah, and I've just put Bray and Stevens on the bench because regardless, they'll only be playing a set amount of games depending on their overall. So just to keep things organized. But yeah, we'll maybe just shift the objective to have three academy players in the squad. I think that makes a lot more sense. But yeah, this season, we've got a fair few problems to kick things off because Norman is very unhappy. And if you think why, I wasn't paying attention when simulating and Matthias Norman is joining Sassuolo as soon as the transfer window opens. I don't know for how much, guys. That is the real question. I have no idea for how much. And yep, that, that's, that's actually gone through. We'll need to sign a CDM. We probably need to sign a midfielder for squad depth. Defenders, there's a lot to do this season. How much money are we worth? Working with about 46 so slowly but surely the budget keeps increasing our top assistant norman is gone hanko transfer offer for a second i thought he was leaving no way just norman departs he's already agreed to join sasuolo did we get any money from that no we didn't so it was a free transfer what an l that we've taken let's get that cdm to replace him our top assistant norman's gone but we've replaced him with samari 38 million we spent for him a lot of our budget is gone in getting this deal done but i think it's worth it Six foot two, 25 year old CDM, 83 rated, top class acquisition. So guys, I was just looking at free agents to maybe fill up the squad because we're lacking a bit of money after that big money signing. I was looking for a backup CDM. This is brilliant. Manuel Suarez, 76 rated, why not? Another free agent I want is Bruno Cabral just to get another centre back for squad depth purposes. Why not? He's 74 rated, 21 years old. Yeah, yeah, like why not? All right, guys, the squad is certainly coming together. The first 11 is really good. We've got the academy players all in the setup. I'm liking it. Backup options are there as well this season. Champions League. Can we do it? We've only got the Premier League to focus on, so it could be possible. Let's sim until the end of season four this is now and see where we'll be. All right, guys. Did we pull it off or not? Season four. Can we make it to the Champions League? We've already won a couple of trophies. This season, we aren't in any cup final or anything. No Europa League, it's just the Premier League. Ah, squad depth was there. Was it enough to secure top four? Arsenal 9th, Spurs 11th. Looks like we're in the top five. Yes, we've done it, boys. Yes, we've done it. Norwich in the top four of the Premier League. We finish fourth and next season's going to be the first season we're involved in Champions League football. 63 points. It was close and we did it. Tammy Abraham has stepped up. 24 goals from him. Mad. Cantwell with a good season too. Rashika did well. Cholis kind of slowed down, but still the eight goals. Davison is the truth. Jordan Davison is an animal. What a player. What a freaking player. I also certainly want to see how the youngsters are doing. Aiden Bray slowly but surely growing. Stevens, ah, the growth is slowing down, guys. The growth is certainly slowing down on the likes of Stevens and all. But okay, it's fine. He's still slowly growing. He's still part of the setup. Manuel Suarez did a good job as a backup CDM. Not bad at all. Our keeper needs to start growing more, man. Kind of annoying that he isn't. We've got a new top assistant, and Davison from the academy. 26 assists for him now. And yeah, brilliant. It's it's brilliant to see him there as the top assister. Trophy count stays the same, but next season, Champions League. Let's get into it. Season 5 with Norwich is going to be our first season in the Champions League, which I'm super excited about. Let's just see how we can do. And also this season, kind of changing the rules because I feel like I want to get the youngsters to a really high overall, um, the academy products. And for that, I might need to loan out them, loan them out. So I'm thinking for this season, we loan out Bray, we'll give him a new contract and then loan him out. I know we're moving away from the rules, but I think that's the best thing to do to get their overalls as high as possible. So that's the plan for season 5. Just him, I want to keep Stevens and Davison for this season we got a lot of cash we got a great team already so I'm thinking we're bringing another midfielder someone to replace Billy Gilmore over there because I think he's maxed out his potential I don't know why he's not growing anymore but yeah we get a world-class midfielder with a hundred million we've got and I think we're good to go for this season that's the plan the player I'm trying to sign might burn through our entire budget but I feel like getting a 22 year old Kamavinga oh boy would that be insane how expensive is he gonna be though wait what 
74.7, that's all for Kamavinga. I'm straight away accepting that. That might be the bargain of the century. What a signing this could be. That's the kind of signing that can win you Champions Leagues. Eduardo Kamavinga has been signed. Oh boy, is that insane. What I'm going to do, guys, is loan out Bray for a couple of seasons. Let's see how that works in his overall. And just see if he can grow incredibly well with that. Because I do want him to be insane for us. And guys, Aiden Bray has been loaned out. Let's hope he can grow massively in these next couple of seasons at Lyon. And with that, I'm done with my transfers. I love the team we've built. It's insane. Like... We, we can definitely compete in the Champions League, I'm feeling, boys. So let's sim until the end of this season and see where we're at. Positive signs for Season 5. I'm feeling it. Okay, guys. What went wrong this season? 11th? Guys, we should be in the Champions League positions. 11th? What went wrong this season? Oh my god. We didn't win any of the cups, I presume. Of course we didn't. Of course we didn't. Champions League, what do we do in the groups? We managed to finish second. We knocked out Roma, we knocked out Atletico, we reached the semi-finals of the Champions League, so we had a good run. I guess we prioritized the Champions League and that ended up costing us, but not too bad. Semi-finals, but we won't be in this competition next season. That's, that's the worry, that's the worry of clubs like Norwich. Anyways, you know what, I won't call this season a failure then. Getting to the semis is big. Tammy Abraham with a solid season, Cholese, Rashika all did very well. Kamavinga, what a signing. How did he not grow more in his overall? I put him on a box-to-box -box plan. For some reason, that didn't work out well. Davison, his growth slowed down a little bit too, but he still did fairly well. Max Adams, not too bad. What about the youngsters? Stevens went up by one. His growth is kind of slowed, but that's fine. That's fine. What about the guy we loaned, Aiden Bray? He didn't grow at all. It's pointless having him on loan. Might as well have him part of the squad. Wow, that was useless. Growth-wise, this was a slow season, boys. This was a very slow season. Stats-wise, Rashika and Davison keep hold of their records five seasons halfway through. And yeah, I kind of feel we could have done more. But then again, we've now established ourselves. No, we haven't because we had a shock in the Prem. Champions League semi-finals, I think, so far is our biggest achievement. Trophies-wise, just the FA Cup and the Community Shield in the first five seasons. I think it's about time we add a Premier League to the list. All right, guys, it's season six and we're not in the Champions League. It's abysmal that we're in this situation, but... We need to fire our team back into the Champions League. And I think the way to do that is to get a better keeper. For some reason, Costa stopped his growth. We replace him, we get a better keeper. Actually, might just keep him in the team regardless and just get a better keeper. Why not? We've got the money to do that. I think this season, it's all about getting that incredible goalkeeper because the rest of the team is insane. I just don't need to change anything, guys. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna just get that keeper sorted. And I reckon that should fire us through to the Champions League for the following season. Might be silly going in for a keeper who is 30, but I'm thinking actually might benefit us. He'll give us a good 3-4 seasons because that's all we need. 89 rated goalkeeper. I'm going to do this, guys. Mike Magnan or my nan, as they say. I want to sign him in goal because having an 89 rated keeper, oh boy, would that be insane. 96 million is what they want. We'll counter with about 85. That should work, I reckon. It does. There you go. Goalkeeper sorted pretty quickly. We'll delegate the contract and get all of that sorted. Mike Magnan. Love that. And there you go. The offer has been accepted. Mike McDan has been signed. What a transfer that is. We've now got an 89 rated keeper in goal, which is absolutely beautiful. That itself, I think, makes us contender for Premier League title. That's what I'm hoping for. That is absolutely what I'm hoping for. We've got a development plan that we can adjust on Davison, which hopefully we can. Uh, oh yeah, we'll put him on ball winning midfielder. That should really improve his stats. So there you go. I think the team is ready for this season with Mike McNan. I don't want to really change too much. We'll soon come to a point where we need to replace the likes of Rashika, maybe Hanko as well, but it's not yet that time. We'll keep going this season. Gotta do better. Hang on a minute. We've just won the Premier League. We're 71 points. That's the lowest points total I've seen for a champion in any of the simulations we've done. How did we pull this off? Let's go. We've just won the Premier League title this season. Season 6 and we've won the title. Oh my god. With 14 draws and 5 losses, 
How did we do this? I've got no idea. But yep, we're champions of England for the first time. Six seasons and we got it done. Unfortunately, got knocked out in the semis of the FA Cup. We didn't win the Carabao Cup or anything. Next season, we'll be in the Champions League again. Who were the stars of this season? Dami Abraham, once again, 22. Rashika did very well. Davison, what a season. Look at that, 15 assists. Kamavinga did well, growing pretty well. That was, there was a lot of player growth everywhere. One more thing I wanted to check is Stevenston growth. So with academy players, it gets super tough unless they are like, you know, the homegrown talent. So we might have to adjust that objective from next time. But yeah, there you go. Not too bad, not too bad. Stats wise, first player across 100 goals. Rashika, brilliant. And Davison, He's establishing himself as the top assistant of the club. Brilliant. It's actually mad that we've won a Premier League title with Norwich. I feel like it's taken us a little bit too much time, but maybe from now on we can build and start winning it more consistently. Can't wait for season seven. All right, guys, season six was great. We won the Premier League title. Season seven, though, we're looking to make it even better. I'm going to have a different approach for this season, guys. I feel like there's no reason to make any signings. We've just won the Premier League title. I want to stick with this team and give the likes of Rashika a shot at the Champions League again, because next season, I think we are going to replace Rashika, probably start thinking about replacing Hanko, maybe adding more to the midfield. So, yeah, this season, even though we've got one, 50 mil i'm loving the overall so far team i feel like we've, our squad depth is on point two as well there's no reason to improve the team even further when we've just won the premier league title so we'll sim with this team and see what we can achieve this season we're back in the champions league chance to add another trophy to the list it's against everton it's the community shield final and we get it done hey stevens ends up scoring that's good as long as we're getting the academy players involved i think it's fair back to back we've done it back to back in the premier league i told you the team is now unbelievable season seven back to back premier league titles let's go we we're now establishing ourselves as a champions league club which is amazing and and the fact that we've done it with Norwich is brilliant. Let's go, boys. Second Premier League title of the video. We've already won the Community Shield this season. Premier League in the bag. FA Cup in the bag, dude. 3-2 against Liverpool. What about the mighty Carabao Cup that goes to Everton? Are we, though, in the Champions League final? Let's find out. Yes, we are. Up against PSG, we knocked out Dortmund, we knocked out Villarreal, we knocked out Vittoria SC, but we're up against PSG. That is going to be a nightmare. Chance to win the Champions League for the first time. Can we do it with Norwich? Season 7, and we're here in a Champions League final. Is our team good enough to win the big <gasps> one, the Champions League? No, it isn't. Not yet. Not yet. We won three trophies this season, but the Champions League... We're still lacking. But you know what? The fact that we reached the final, I think is incredible. Against PSG, there isn't really much you can do for the most part. Yeah, I think it's still been a successful season. Stats wise, Tammy Abraham. Oh my God, those stats insane. 37 goals. Rashika just keeps growing. I was talking about replacing him. We're going to hold off on that because he's insane. Cholice keeps growing as well. Great stats on him. Davison is now 90 rated. Kamavinga with incredible stats too. Yeah, the team stepped up big time. What about the other youngsters we've got on the team? Bray went up by one. That's nice to see. What about Stevens? He played a fair few games. He went up by one too. Still the same top scorer and top assist at the club with Rashika having that. But Tammy Abraham is closing in. And with us potentially replacing Rashika at some point, you never know. Three seasons to go. Anything can happen. Davison, top assister, but Kamavinga is chasing him too. Trophy count, two Premier League titles, two FA Cups and two Community Shields. We've got three seasons. Can we bring a Champions League on board? Not gonna lie, guys, after how successful last season was, and with players not really dipping in their overall, it just doesn't make sense to make more signings and disrupt the squad. I feel like our squad is pretty complete. With a bit of luck, I reckon we can win the Champions League. So even though we've got about 275 million, who do I even sign to improve the team, guys? Like, maybe I could sell Tammy Abraham. He's 30. Do we need to, though? Do we really need to? I don't think so for now. I think everything's just fine with the team. Maybe we can get a better left back. Actually, 
Let's do that. Let's get a better left back and replace Brandon Williams for season eight. And I've got a certain player in mind for that, and that is Theo Hernandez. He's 30 though, but he's 90 rated. I don't think we can go wrong with that. He'll give us a couple of good seasons. That's all we need. And we'll be weakening PSG. Perfect. Kind of want to see if a swap deal would work with one of our left backs. I don't mind giving McCullum away. And let's offer them 70 million plus McCullum. What are they going to say? They want 119 million. We've got the money. We've got excess cash. Might as well let that run through. So offering him the deal. Teonandes should be complete soon. There you have it, guys. The signing is complete. We've signed a 30-year-old Teonandes to reinforce our back line. Now, we're ready for the Champions League and let's defend the Premier League title too. I reckon I'm just going to sim through this season. We're going to put Brandon Williams, I guess, on as a bench. And the bench is pretty strong as well now. We're ready for this season, boys. We really are. What a team we've got. I was thinking about replacing Rashika, but then you look at his stats. How can we do that? Let's sim until the end and see where we reach. Season 8 in our team is more than capable of winning Premier League title after Premier League title. Yeah, we've won the Premier League again. Our third one in eight seasons. Not bad at all. Three points cleared of Liverpool. What about other competitions? This is not showing who won the Community Shield, guys. It's a draw. Who won it? Who won it? Is this some sort of a glitch? Why is it not showing who won it? Well, we're not going to count that then because we don't know who won it. That's interesting. We didn't win the FA Cup. We won the Carabao Cup. That's great. Are we in the Champions League final? We aren't. We got knocked out by Real Madrid. It literally shows that we've had a draw in the Community Shield final. Who won? Nobody knows. That's a weird one. Another big season for Tammy Abraham, 32, but Rashika is going down massively he's down to an 87 maybe it's time maybe it's time we look for a replacement for our Sheikha, at least for the final couple of seasons but with the signing of theo Hernandez, i certainly thought we'd be challenging for the champions league but oh well dami abraham just keeps scoring 19 assists as well that's mad. Davison, though, he's going to end up with the top assist because Kamavinga is slowing down a bit. Stats-wise, although Rashika is clear, Tammy Abraham is chasing him. And with us potentially selling Rashika next season, Tammy Abraham's going to probably overtake him. So fair play on that. We'll see, though. Davison, top assister, he's pretty comfortable there. And in terms of trophies, we're looking at three Premier League titles, two FA Cups, a Carabao Cup. No Champions League yet, though. We've got just a couple of seasons left. Is it going to be possible? We'll have to wait watch season nine begins and the fact that we haven't won the champions league is a bit embarrassing because our team is insane like this norwich side is absolutely insane and we got to work towards bringing that champions league home all right guys so i'm i'm probably gonna get rid of rashika this season because i think it's time i really think it is guys i think i found the man to replace rashika it's marcos sanchez 92 rated is he messi's regen he might just be but i'm not entirely sure he might just be 92 rated stats are looking insane we need a right winger anyways can we try maybe a swap deal with rashika that could work and about maybe 60 million is that going to be enough it is let's go we'll take a detailed look at marcos sanchez's stats soon but i want to get that contract sorted a 92 rated signing to replace of course rashika that should get us closer to a potential champions league and we've actually signed him guys marcos sanchez who is he no don't know but the stats are just bonkers he's 92 rated guys top class signing i don't think i need to do anything more i'm happy with the team actually we don't have depth maybe signing a couple of center backs could be smart i think i'm gonna do that why not bring in someone like upamecano he's 30 we just need someone for a couple of seasons he'll do the job we'll have to pay the release clause now we can't get him what about konate then surely we can get ibrahim konate there he is he's 30 he's only 86 rated but contract expiring we could get a deal on him with the signing of ibrahim Konate, we've got the squad depth we need to win the champions league too i feel absolutely perfect let's let's put him on the bench we're looking good we're looking really good that's what our team's gonna look like for the upcoming season wait where's sanchez there you go we've put him in the team what a side gotta win at least one champions league in these next couple of seasons man let's do it another season of absolutely dominating the premier league title 92 points that's our number four premier league title guys super like we were just so much better community shield this time clear winner we did win it absolutely brilliant fa cup uh southampton it's it's fine well no carabao cup for us what about the champions league 
Barca Leipzig, are you kidding me? Who do we get knocked out to? PSG. I swear PSG are the bane of my life, honestly. Huh, oh my god, so only the Premier League this season and the Community Shield. That seems disappointing. We've got one more season and I'm hoping we can win at least one Champions League. Huh. By the way, about the Community Shield, I think what happened there last season where, you know, there wasn't a winner, because I got sacked midway for some weird reason for not doing the Youth Academy stuff. So because I'm on the PC version, I can just get back with Norwich because... This, e this series is not about, you know, getting sacked. It's about completing the 10 seasons. Probably that's why what happened there. Anyways, it's fine. Uh, only the Prem and the Community Shield this season. Dami Abraham is now the top scorer with 39 this season. That is bonkers. Good season for Sanchez, Choliz as well. Davison keeps adding up more assists, but Dami Abraham unreal finally a new top scorer in dami abraham 185 goals just insane and we've still got one season to go i think he's gonna bang that 200 mark easily davison hopefully can hit 100 assists too four premier league titles two fa cups one carabao cup three community shields it's brilliant in a decade with norwich but hopefully we can add that champions league in the final season we got one last season to go, one last opportunity to win the Champions League. I don't think we need any changes to the team, it's incredible. There is squad depth signing Konate and all last season was key. The overalls are looking fantastic. We're just going to straight away sim out till the end. Last shot at winning the Champions League. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. No, we actually lost the Premier League to City by just one point. Ah, that's not the end we wanted. Hopefully, we at least made a Champions League final. We lost the Community Shield too. FA Cup, we lost that too. We won the Carabao Cup, so there's that. At least one trophy. Are we in the Champions League final though? Yes, we are. Let's go. We've got a chance to win one Champions League over these 10 seasons. Huge. Oh boy, was that stressful. We did it. All right, guys, we're getting into this one. The Champions League final against Dortmund. They've got Haaland, Reyna, Greenwood. They've got some high-rated players in there. This is a bit scary now. Norwich versus Dortmund. Champions League final. Please, we got to end off with the win. Can't believe it, man. No. Heartbreak at the end. No Champions League trophy for us in this Norwich challenge. That hurts. That really hurts. Looking at the stats off that disappointment of losing the Champions League. Choli top scorer. 93 rated. I'm not surprised. Tammy Abraham starting to go down. 29 goals. Sanchez with 21. Kamavinga did well. Davison had a slow season, but he should still get top assist. Huh? There you go. Those are the stats. And in terms of the final stats, we've got Tammy Abraham, our top scorer, with 214 goals. That's insane. He was only here for like six seasons, so fair enough. Davison, top assister with 91 assists. Not bad at all. But ultimately, in 10 seasons with Norwich, we managed to win four Premier League titles, two FA Cups, two Carabao Cups, and three Community Shields. Not too bad, but I reckon it could have been better. We lost, we lost a couple of Champions League finals, which was painful. Yeah, it is what it is, but not too bad. A decade with Norwich, and I think we've achieved fairly decently. But with that, we're going to be wrapping up today's 10 season takeover challenge. I love this one with Norwich. Feel, felt like a lot different to the previous ones because we had to maneuver a very weak team winning the FA Cup in our second season with class. Loved it, boys. And if you guys enjoyed this 10 season takeover, destroy that like button. 8,000 likes. I want to see it. Subscribe if you're new around here and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.